Welcome back to another episode of Whiskey Wednesday. My name is Gio, this is Matt, and we are Drinks and Chill. Mm -hmm. What are we drinking today, Matt? Today we are drinking, and I'm really looking forward to this one. Ooh. We are drinking 1792 Full Proof. Full Proof. This is a crazy 62% alcohol. 62.5. 62.5. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Full and proof. In, in yeah. proof wise, it's 125. 125. Wow. I'm pretty sure this is your first time trying it, right? Yes. This is my first time trying it as well. I just took off the seal. So, um... That's I, a really nice cap. That is a really nice cap. Um, I saw this in a store, um, like, last week. And it's hard to find this one where I'm at. And I think, I think in general it can be hard to find this particular version of 1792. The small batch is everywhere. But the full proof, I've, I don't know if I've ever seen it, or at least since I became aware of it, I haven't seen it. And, oh, you're just going for it, okay. I didn't mean to. Here. <laughs> and uh, so when I saw it, I just, I, I jumped on it. So um, I'm really looking forward to trying this. All right, Gio. I guess you're spending the night, huh? Yeah. Okay, I, had, I can't get too close. I had to go far away. Oh, that smells good. good. Mm -hmm. That smells really good. So you know what I don't smell? Is the alcohol. Really? Yeah. I mean, I feel like it's not as prominent as I would think it is. Oh, like, uh, not like last week's. All right, I'm just gonna get it out of the way. Vanilla, it's bourbon, so vanilla. Yeah. Um, I feel like I'm getting like a caramel as well. I'm not getting a cherry with this one? Yeah. Are you? No, but I'm getting alcohol smell now. I think I'm getting, I think I'm getting like a very faint cherry. Like I feel like it's not as strong as I've smelled in others, but it's, it is there. And yeah, the alcohol smell is definitely there. And I'm, I'm still trying to work to get past that. Oh my gosh, I stirred it and that kicked me. Have you even drank it yet? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. All right, so take a small sip. It kind of like, it's not right away, but like, it's kind of like, boom. So, what we have now is, and I got it specifically for this one, we have a little water dropper. So, did you want to try a uh, water dropper? I'm going to try one more sip and yeah. I'm going to put just like, one, two drops of water and see what that does. Ooh. Better? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and test results, that was a lie. Right? <laughs> no, I think I just inhaled too too much or too fast, but Oh, it's a crowded barrel too. Yeah, it's a crowded <laughs> barrel water dropper. Yeah, I feel like the cherry is a little bit more prominent now. Oh yeah, I can smell the flavor now better. How many drops did you add? Two. Two. I probably need to add a little bit more. Yeah, because you poured more than I did. I feel like I can get like the the oak now too, like kind of like from the barrel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's still got a little bit of a kick. Yep. But but now you can at least taste it. Yeah, you can. I'm gonna add a little bit more actually. Maybe just two more. If you want to add more, help you slow. Oh, we got tasting notes back here. We'll read those in a moment. Yeah, I'm getting that vanilla now for sure. It's like the vanilla wafer, like the vanilla wafer, vanilla. You remember the vanilla wafer? Oh, like the cookies? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna read the back of this now. It's a very dark bourbon. Mm-hmm. All right. Bourbon insiders have long acknowledged that foolproof bourbon has a distinctively rich flavor. This bourbon has been bottled at its original 125 barrel entry proof, just as it was years ago when the barrels were first filled. Strong and full of flavor, this bold bourbon boasts an incredible, incredible deep and smoky taste. Really smoky? Oh, didn't that, get any of that. That might be. I mean, it's, I, I don't think it's going to be like like Scotch smoky, but maybe that's like the oak that you get from the barrel. Mm. 
Uh, superbly balanced with sweet vanilla and notes of caramel. I called <laughs> it. I called it. <laughs> this is really good, actually. Like after you get a little bit of water in there and you get the flavor, this is this is this is really good. I think this is one of those um, that you can put a um, uh, kind of like the where are they whiskey stones? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I think that, that'll work really well. Or the little block ice. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to mix this like with with Coke or anything. But I could see like doing like a block of ice. Because the, the nice thing about the block of ice is it waters it down very slowly. Mm -hmm. So. And I think with the with Coke, it the acid or whatever will over overbear it. Yeah, you know, it might. You just be tasting alcohol and Coke. So I'm trying to think of the other um, whiskeys that we've done on Whiskey Wednesday. I think this might be the highest proof that we've done so far. The highest one? Really? I think so. Because, what have we done? Um, I'm looking at what we've got over here. But I don't think we've done anything higher than this. I oh, think we, we, just, we just basically looked at everything too, so. Yeah. I think we'll... Last week was the uh, highest that week, right? Mm-hmm. We're just topping everything. We are. Oh, we're gonna have to top this next week. What's higher than this? Oh, I've got one. Oh. Um, so what we're doing mm -hmm. is uh, every week, Whiskey Wednesday, whenever we try the whiskey, we're adding it to our infinity bottle. And theoretically, by the end of the year, this bottle should be full, although it looks like it'll be full before the end yeah. of the year. Um, and then we're gonna try it and see what the blend of all our Whiskey Wednesday videos tastes like. So, 1792 Full Proof is now part of our Infinity Bottle. Oh, that made it darker. <laughs> Can you really tell? I think so. That, it definitely brought the proof up. <laughs> How do you rate this bottle? After diluting it, um, still trying to overcome it, but I had to go like a seven. Really? Yeah. This, this is like just like hard to get past that burn. Yeah. When you, once you get past the burn, for me, mm -hmm. it's not like oh wow this flavor is amazing. Yeah. It's more like okay, getting past the burn, okay the flavor is okay. I like that one a lot. I'd, I'd probably give it an eight. An eight. Mm -hmm. Just because I f feel like I'm. It's kind of used to the higher proof stuff, but this one, like, it definitely had a kick to it. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we just came off a high proof one with that Eleanor. You know, that might not have helped. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I, I gotta give this one an 8. I think it just has a really great flavor. Now, I didn't get the flavor until I, until I watered it down. And I will say this, you know, I have said that I have one that's a higher proof than this. I feel like the, the one that I have that's a higher proof doesn't, doesn't taste like way. Like it's it's one of those that like yeah it's really high proof but at the same time I'm able to get past the alcohol burn fairly easily. I mean like if you had to put four drops or yeah we both put four drops right mm -hmm. yeah I feel like that's just something that yeah it's hard to overcome yeah no I got you so that's our review on what was it seventeen ninety two full proof yeah Ooh, it's more like death proof <laughs> but. So that's our review on it. Um, if you tried it, tell us what you think. If there was, uh, I know they have other expressions too, which I think we've tried others since 1992, right? I haven't. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think there's others, right? There are others, yeah. yeah. There's several others. So if you tried others, let us know what you think of them or which ones you recommend to us. Mm -hmm. Thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you know whenever we upload. And follow us on Twitter and Instagram at drinks underscore chill. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.